Welcome to the College of Southern Idaho. You are looking live as the fourth-ranked CSI women's basketball team readies for day two of the Idaho Central Credit Union Invitational. The 1-0 Golden Eagles face the 1-0 Cardinals of North Idaho College. I'm Mike Christensen alongside our camera operator, Carson Egbert. Even with 11 new faces on this year's squad, CSI got off to a roaring start Thursday night, shooting 54% from the field in a 105-56 route of Northwest College. But tonight, it's a tougher challenge against an NIC squad that earned a blowout win of its own Thursday, topping Arizona Western behind a big night from redshirt freshman guard Kendall Pickford. I spoke with CSI head coach Randy Rogers just minutes ago about tonight's matchup. Here is my conversation with the coach. Last night, a little tougher test probably tonight with a North Idaho team that's uh, back in Region 18, but playing you in the non-conference to uh, talk about tonight's game. Yeah, it'll be interesting. You know, you, you kind of want to show, but you don't want to show. And, you know, they, they're coming off a really big win against Arizona Western, a team with a lot of size like ours. Um, really good guard play. But, uh, yeah, having them back in the league, it's, we're glad to have them back. You know, it's it's nice to have that in-state rival. It's always fun. One of the better places to go play is up there for atmosphere. So it'll be a lot of fun. I, I really, really enjoy talking with their coach, good guy. And, uh so it, it, it should be a lot of fun. You've talked about the offensive ability of this group that you have, and, and they shot 54% last night, went over the century mark. Uh, just talk about the offensive ability of this team. Yeah, we, we, I don't know if we struggled offensively coming out of the gate, but defensively we, it was poor. It was, we, our, our gap help was not there. Our on-ball defense was terrible. We were fouling. We put them on the line quite a bit in the first quarter. Uh, then we settled down defensively, I thought, and our offense kind of pretty much stayed the same and, you know, I, I've said it before, I know that this team, uh, we're pretty deep offensively, pretty good shooters, um, kids that uh, get the game offensively. We're just working on the defensive end right now. I think I said that too. Yeah, yeah. that'll come along. But uh, this, this group has so many players. I know it's kind of difficult to figure out who to put in and where. Yeah. Are you going to go with the same starting five? Are you changing things I'm up? I'm not. I'm, I'm put, uh, uh Izzy Arvey in at the starting lineup for Kennedy Gillette. We're going to kind of play at that position a little bit. I think I'm going to keep the other three the same, other four the same. Uh, we may switch up the five a little bit at times or the three and four up a little bit. But, uh, I, I, you know, and it's not, the kids got to understand, it's not like, hey, you did anything wrong. I'm just trying to, you know, see who gives us better starts. And, you know, we like KG coming off the bench too, but she, and she was really good. Trying to get Izzy going a little bit. I thought she played pretty well last night. and um, We're going to put her at the two and, and at the shooting guard spot because she, she's a pretty good shooter and a really good defender, a position defender. And North Idaho has, I uh, can't pronounce her last name, but uh, 33 who had 26, 27 points last night or something like that. So wow. we've got to make sure we find her. She's a really, really good shooter. She was at a four-year last year down in Arizona. And, and, and so... You know, she could present a problem for us. She was, I, the, well, she's good. <laughs> Obviously, there's put up a lot of points. Uh, last question for you, Jill. You're playing without Jill Lundgren, one of your returning players. Saw she's out of her boot. How close is she to being able to return to action? Yeah, for we're you? hoping two weeks. Um, you know, uh, and then she's got to get in shape. We're trying to find some uh, water aerobics or you know, biking and some low impact stuff to get her back going, conditioning wise and. You know, we, we're pretty deep at that position, you know, the three, the four or five. Um, but she is a stretch shooter, somebody that can knock down a three. Uh, like I said before, kind of like an Alyssa type, you know, not a big time banger down low, but uh, gives us a chance to spread the offense with her and maybe give some driving lanes. Nice. Well, best of luck tonight, Coach. Thanks for the time. Thank you, Mike. CSI head coach Randy Rogers joining us pregame, grateful for his time. The earlier game today, uh, this afternoon, Arizona Western took a 62-47 victory over Northwest College and uh, got a very balanced effort led by Divine Harris with 17 and a 12-point, 15-rebound double-double from Alliance Diva. Meanwhile, Roxanne Rogers had 30 points and 7 rebounds for Northwest College in the loss. Scored 30 of her team's 47 in that one but uh, now we get into the nightcap of games with the CSI women here tipping off in just moments and the CSI men following 
After that, Golden Eagle men, ranked 10th in the country, lost last night to Yavapai and have a, a good test tonight against Northwest College out of Wyoming. So we get things rolling here. CSI changing the starting lineup just slightly, as you heard Coach Rogers from last night's game. Golden Eagles going with Izzy Arvey at the two guard, replacing freshman Kennedy Gillette, who had a great game in opener. A very deep CSI team. You'll see 13 or 14 players take the floor, and they've all got game and can really play. North Idaho led by Kendall Pickford out of Lake City High. She's come back home to North Idaho College after a red shirt year and uh, looking to do some good things for North Idaho. So exciting group there. They have 10 new players on this team. Denise Ryan wears number 12. She'll be your starting point guard for NIC. Maddie Williamson wears number 15. She's a 5'8 freshman guard from Malta, Montana. Addie Kiefer wears number 24. She's 5'10, a sophomore, Rathdrum, Idaho. Faye Davis wears number 32. She's six foot, the tallest of the Cardinals. The center, a sophomore from Redford, Oregon. And then Kendall Pickford, five foot ten, and a freshman from Coeur d'Alene. So she's back home in Coeur d'Alene, ready to do some good things under coach Nate Coville and his uh, group. They signed a lot of new players to this group. Pickford transferred mid-year last season and, uh, and redshirted. They're excited to see what she can do. And the lights go out. We get ready to meet the Golden Eagles. Your starter up front, number three, Jaden McNeil, six foot one. She's a sophomore from Boise, Idaho. Transfer from Eastern Washington. Had a dynamite opener last night. Led the Golden Eagles in scoring and dominated in the post. Izzy Arby, sophomore, one of the returning players on this year's group, gets the start. She wears number four. Will play both guard positions. She'll start at the shooting guard tonight. And the returning honorable mention, All-American Kaylee Hedrick, number 14, outstanding rebounder, led the Golden Eagles in scoring and rebounding a season ago. Basically averaged a double-double, and she's back for her sophomore year. McKaylee Ika out of Lone Peak High in Utah, home Provo, Utah. A dandy point guard freshman can really handle it. We're excited to see what she does this season. And rounding out the starting lineup, the transfer, Jamison Heaton from Colorado Mesa, 5'10", sophomore from Lehigh, Utah, and that is your starting five for the Golden Eagles. Under coach Randy Rogers in his 22nd season, the all-time winningest coach in CSI women's history. He is now 5'11 on the wins and 168 on the losses as he begins season number 22 with the Golden Eagles. CSI finishes off the ICCU invite tomorrow against Arizona Western. That's a 5 o'clock game. We'll have that for you at home again next week for three more Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So join us right here on the Scenic West Network for all the action as we tip this one off. McNeil with the tip. Ika with the handle. And CSI gets us underway. Eagles moving that motion offense well. Drive and kick. Arby to Ika. First quarter. Four quarters on the women's side and Juco ball. Two halves on the men's side. Good defense by North Idaho. To beat the shot clock, Ika puts up the long three and it is an air ball. And the ball will go over to the Cardinals. See what Nate Colville's crew has tonight after getting a dominating win against Arizona Western the night ago behind the big night from Kendall Pickford. Trap in the corner. They get rid of it. Kiefer off the bounce. Gives it back up to Ryan. Shot clock in single digits. Down to five. Pickford stuck up top. Changes her pivot foot. Hurls it up and misses. So both teams defensively get stops 
late in the shot clock. Dika, wide open three, front rim. And taken down by Faye Davis. Maddie Williamson races into the front court, wearing number 15. North Idaho in the black and red. Golden Eagles in the white with black and gold trim. Here on a Friday night at the College of Southern Idaho, CSI finished fourth, or re reached the final four, lost in the semifinals of the national tournament last year, the NJCA Division I tournament down in Texas. Had a great run and ranked number four in the nation to start this season. Good defense by the Eagles and knocking it out of bounds is Heaton. It'll stay with NIC. The Cardinals, of course, back in Region 18. Longtime member of the Scenic West Athletic Conference. Stepped away to join the uh, NWAC, and now they are back. These are not conference games, though. They'll play twice in the preseason. That means these two teams will play each other four times. Nice steal by McNeil. Tips it to Heaton. Heaton throws it behind her back, gets away, but ends up in an RV3. No good. Heaton, a chance to put it back. We'll kick it out. And the jumper is up and good by Jaden McNeil. And for two games in a row, McNeil gets the Golden Eagles on the board. Sophomore transfer. Transfer looks like a good one for CSI. Williamson. Davis in the post, and they swarm. Kick it around the horn. Deep three for Williamson is way off the mark. Ika looking down the floor, finds Arvey. She'll take it all the way in, float it up, miss it. And Hedrick the rebound. One more chance inside, Heaton up, and a foul. That's going to go against Pickford. She is the standout for this NIC team, and that would be big if she ends up in foul trouble. That's her first in a free throw trip for Jamison Heaton. 5'10", sophomore from Lehigh, Utah. First one good for Heaton. And she goes two for two on the trip. Golden Eagles with a four nothing lead early. Heaton, 29 game starter at Colorado Mesa a season ago, six points, four rebounds average there. And good pickup in the offseason for Coach Rogers. Hedrick, another rebound. It's her specialty. Gets it down the floor to Heaton. She's got another look, and she scores. So four straight points for Heaton. Nice assist from Hedrick. Six-nothing Eagles. The floater is off the mark. Rebounded away by Heaton, and the Eagles run again. Heaton will lose it briefly. Gathered back into McNeil. Layup good. So Heaton the assist. McNeil the lay-in. The Golden Eagles an 8 nothing lead and a quick timeout for North Idaho. We will take it and be back on the Scenic West Athletic Network. No, 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 no. Come on, where is it? Dave, it's your Idaho Central app here. Any chance you're missing a debit card? Let's get that taken care of for you. With ICCU's card control, you can turn any card off with the tap of your finger. You got it. And back on again. Ow, 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 ow. The closest Idaho Central Credit Union branch is in your pocket. Welcome back to the College of Southern Idaho. Mike Christensen with you. Carson Egbert on the camera. We are bringing you College of Southern Idaho women's basketball here on the Scenic West Athletic Network. It's a beautiful Friday in Twin Falls. High 60s temperature-wise after a couple dreary cold weeks. Beautiful day today. North Idaho so far cold from the field trying to get on the board here. Number 20, Taylor Adams is into the lineup for the Cardinals. 
She's got it here, down the lane, drops it off. That's going to go out of bounds. And it's going to stay with NIC. Williamson will trigger. Deep shot, Pickford, no good. Her first look of the night. Golden Eagles with the early shutout. Williamson down the baseline, takes the bump, won't fall in. Tough break for Maddie Williamson, but she'll go to the foul line. It's from Malta, Montana, not Malta, Idaho, nearby here to Twin, but Malta, Montana. And a 5'8 freshman is at the foul line. And that one rims out for her. So the shot rims off after hanging on the rim. Now the free throw rims out, and it's still a donut on the scoreboard for the Cardinals. Second one goes. Ika, crossover dribble, trying to shake off Ryan, who's staying right with her. McNeil looking down low, can't get it to Hedrick, takes it herself, drives in, blocked out of bounds. Nice defense by Taylor Adams, the freshman from Kennewick, Washington. It's 8 to 1 CSI, 6.03 to go, midway first quarter. Shot clock down to three. Ika looking, drops it off. Hedrick's not going to get it off, and it's going to be a shot clock violation. So good defense by the Cardinals, forcing the CSI turnover. Substitutions for the Golden Eagles. Taylor Johnson, number 42, a 6'3 freshman from Cannon Falls, Minnesota, is in the lineup along with Kennedy Gillette, who wears number five. She's 5'11", a freshman, big-time scorer out of Rexburg, Idaho. Shot by Ryan is good. Denise Ryan with the deep triple. 5'4", sophomore from Albuquerque. Puts it home and first bucket of the game for North Idaho, and it's 8-4. to four. Hedrick drops it off beautifully. Shot won't fall. Johnson is there and puts it home. CSI with a significant size advantage in the post. That was a big aspect of last night's win over Northwest College. And we'll see how that plays out here. Pickford loses it off her knee. That should be an over and back, and it is. Bounced right off her leg. It'll be CSI ball. Golden Eagles up six. As we reach the midway mark of quarter number one. And a foul called on CSI offensive. It's going to go on Johnson. Coach Rogers doing a little teaching as they prepare to bring it the other way. And Ryan will bring it up. Got those bright pinkish red shoes on tonight. Across the timeline. And here go the Cardinals. They've struggled to score just one basket in five minutes. And a double dribble called on Ryan. Kind of paused a little bit, caught the ball in her hands and dribbled again. And CSI's turn. Ika to Heaton. Johnson posts up and scores. At six foot three, there's just no one down low that North Idaho can counter with. She's able to turn and put it in. Ryan, quick on the dribble, but it's knocked away. Gillette brings it up, loses it briefly. She'll find it again. Ika tries to save it at midcourt, and that's going to be an over and back for the Golden Eagles. Michaela Ika will take a sit. A seat and Braley Jenks will check in. Jenks. The red shirt sophomore missed last year after ACL surgery. Got that leg wrapped up tight. Still trying to fully trust that knee. 
But a great player for the Eagles. Can really shoot it and set the table for others. She's in the lineup now. The Eagles trying to pick up the defense. Coach Rogers really preaches defense. They get an air ball there and come the other way. Heaton briefly lost it, gathers it in. And Jenks will run the show. Under four to go, first quarter. Hedrick scores it on the layup. The pass was a little bit off, but she gathered it in and took it to the hoop. And it's another 30-second timeout for Coach Coville and Coach Louis Vargas. They want to talk it over for North Idaho. Ten-point lead for the Eagles. We'll take the break and be back on the Scenic West Athletic Network. What's the perfect weekend for Cam? Well, it's duck, duck, cut loose. Bad boy. Mo with an attitude. Welcome back to the College of Southern Idaho. Mike Christensen with you. First quarter action. Number four CSI and North Idaho College in the ICCU Invitational. 14-4 lead for the home standing Eagles here. Jumper for the Cardinals. Up and off the mark. And that's going to be CSI ball. Diana Morales, or Diana Morales into the game there. Six-foot sophomore from Madrid, Spain. But that shot won't go down for her. Off the back heel. Heaton in the post. Bangs away. Misses. Good play using kind of that flare screen to get her open. But unable to finish inside. Eagle defense. Looking better in the first quarter tonight than a night ago. But a good bucket there by Morales. Knocks it down. 15-footer from the baseline. They look down low for Johnson. That pass, too much steam on it for Jenks. And goes out of bounds. Turnover, CSI, 14-6. to six. We missed our, our pregame interview with Coach Rogers, one of the standout returning players for this team, Jill Lundgren, who's now Jill Phipps, got married in the offseason. She uh, has been in a boot much of the preseason. The boot is off. They hope she'll be back and available to play in just two weeks. So she's excited to get back after standing and watching preseason practice the last month. The drive and rolls off the rim there for Callista Troman. Kick out, Gillette. Good shooter, short on that one. Kayla Pere with the rebound, and Jenks will try the three. That's long, and the rebound comes away to Truman. Down on the block, the Eagles trying to swarm, shifting that defense around. Maddie Williamson gets into the paint and knocks down the 12 footer. And it's 14 to 8. So after a cold start, North Idaho starting to figure out how to attack this CSI defense and make a game of it. Golden Eagles led 8 0 early. Another turnover. Taken down the bucket and the foul. And some emotion from Morales as she puts it home. And we'll learn a free throw trip. She can cut this to a one, one possession game with the free throw. 14 to 10 CSI. Taylor Adams will take a seat. And Addie Kiefer comes back in for NIC. Also on the floor for the first time, Irachi Amarutu, 5'8 freshman from the Canary Islands, Spain. Free throw good, and it's 14-11. And Faye Davis checks back in. A 
We've got whistles. We'll see what they're figuring out here. One thirty-one on the clock. Eagles by three. Kayla Pere triggers to Jenks. Pere, one of the better defensive players on this team. Full of freshmen. Jenks drives, drops it off. McNeil fouled as she goes up by Davis. And McNeil, very good here in the early part of the season, earning trips to the foul line. Last night, she shot eight free throws, went five of eight at the line as part of her team-high 17 points. First free throw is good. Stretches that Golden Eagle lead to four with 117 to go in the quarter. Second one good. Two for two trip to Jaden McNeil. Golden Eagle defense a little too physical there. They pick up the foul. Neither team in the bonus here, so it's a side out. Next free throw, we'll put him in the bonus, but we're late in the quarter here. We'll see if we get there. Three-pointer, long, offensive rebound by Williamson. Davis backs her way in. She's swarmed and throws it out of bounds. Good defense by CSI. Getting Davis flustered there. She's a sophomore from Redmond, Oregon. And turnover that time. Ika into the front court. Final 45 seconds of the quarter. Mariah Mons, number 10, another talented freshman in for the Eagles. Up to Perez, she'll drive it. Ika, nice hesitation and misses, but body contact and a trip to the line coming from a Kaylee Ika. Thirty seconds on the clock, she'll go to the line. One more after the first one kicks off the rim. And it's good. Seventeen eleven Eagles. North Idaho could pretty much take the final shot if they so choose, but they'll attack and miss. Rebound by Pere. Hedrick. She'll drive it. And they'll reset out front. Down to 10 seconds. We'll get it to McNeil. She squares away, drives the baseline, kicks it around the horn. Open three. Good! Kayla Pere knocks down the triple. Beats the horn. Nothing but nylon. And the Golden Eagles at the end of one have a 20 to 11 lead on that big bucket there. We'll take a break. We'll be back here on the Scenic West Athletic Network with quarter number two right after this. We would like to thank our sponsors. K&T Steel. Right Physical Therapy and s and Automotive Maintenance and Repair. The questions I had about coming to physical therapy during the pandemic are, should I wait till the pandemic's over? I've gone down that road where I've not gone to PT and things got worse. And so I decided that I wasn't gonna wait. Everybody working here is wearing a mask. All the workout equipment is all spaced appropriately. I see people constantly cleaning it for my safety and I know that they care while I'm here. We're surrounded by viruses, <coughs> and if you vape, you could be breaking down your body's ability to defend itself. The chemicals in vapor damage your lungs on a cellular level. 
leaving you at risk. Get the sick truth about vaping at BehindTheHaze.com. We're back live here at the College of Southern Idaho. Second quarter about to get underway between the fourth-ranked CSI Golden Eagles and the North Idaho Cardinals out of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. These two teams are in the same state, but a long way apart. It's a good nine to ten hour trek to get up to Coeur d'Alene from here in Twin Falls down in south central Idaho. One of those where you wonder how on earth you can still be in the same state, but you are. 20 to 11, beautiful place up in Coeur d'Alene with the lake there. And campus right there close to the lake. It's a beautiful place, north Idaho. Parade drives. Eagles working that weave up top. Oh, Paré had Hedrick open underneath. And it ends up in a CSI turnover. Good defense by Williamson and the Cardinals. Early second, second quarter. This is day two of the Idaho Central Credit Union Invitational taking place here on the Idaho Central Credit Union Court. ICCU, a great sponsor of CSI Athletics. Ryan gets it inside to Davis. She turns, misfires, and Hedrick another rebound. She's piling up the rebounds early. What she does well after averaging 10 rebounds a season ago to go with 10 and a half points. Mons, nice reverse of position. Can't finish. And Denise Ryan pushes it into the front court. Hedrick steps in front of that pass, gets the steal, loses it right back to North Idaho. And Davis scoops it up at midcourt. Kind of a sloppy opening to this quarter for both sides. Three-pointer, won't go. Pickford was on fire last night with her 20-plus points, but having a hard time against this CSI defense, getting many looks. She's missed a couple of attempts she's had. Williamson to Pickford. Three ball, back rim. McNeil with the rebound. Hedrick gets in the paint, can't finish. And we've been stuck on 20 to 11 in the first couple minutes of the new period. Ika jumps in front of that one, knocks it out of bounds. Seven fifty-five to go in quarter number two. Join us again tomorrow night, five o'clock tip for CSI and Arizona Western. In the afternoon, it'll be North Idaho and Northwest College at one o'clock. Ryan hits the deep triple. She's got a couple of threes here in the first half at number 12. Keeping things close with the long shot there. Golden Eagle lead down to six. Ika. To Heaton. They try to get it to McNeil in the post. She spins and scores. Jaden McNeil, limited time at Eastern Washington last year, but making a big splash here in the early going for CSI. Following up her 17-point game a night ago with another solid performance tonight. Nice play by North Idaho and in getting into the paint and getting fouled is Taylor Adams. And she'll go to the foul line. Heaton picks it up for CSI. The first for number 32. And free throws for Adams. 5'10 freshman from Kennewick, Washington. Plays multiple positions for this team. 
off the bench. Knocks it down. And the lead back to six for the Golden Eagles. A little too tight a defense there by Ryan up top. Not a whole lot there, but bumping Ika with the dribble near midcourt. Picks up the foul. McNeil will take a seat. And Hedrick back in. Trying to follow up on that. Honorable mention All-American season as a freshman. It's a big part of CSI's success in what was a 31-3 and season. And Heaton now fouled under the bucket. And she'll earn a trip to the charity stripe. With 6.38 to go in half number one. Free throw good. Second one rattles out for Heaton. Ryan drops it underneath. Beautiful find Adams. She loses it underneath. Knocked out by the Eagles. Will stay with the Cardinals. Shot won't go. Heaton pushes the other way. Mons in the corner. And they'll set it up with Hika up top as we near six minutes to go. 18 on the shot clock. Double screens away. She takes Heaton. Finds her on the flare. No good on the three. Outside of Ryan hitting a couple triples for North Idaho. Neither team doing a lot of damage from the outside. Ryan races to the lane this time. Picks up the foul. She'll go to the line. First of two for Ryan here. And off the back rim. Kennedy Stenquist checks in for CSI. She had a really good game in the opener off the bench for the Eagles last night. Just 11 minutes, but six points, two assists, two steals. Good energy player. And five foot five freshman from Idaho Falls. Harvey drives, beats her defender, leaves the shot short, and Heaton underneath will score. Nice little underhand pass by Hedrick after she got the rebound, and it's an eight-point lead for the Eagles. We've kind of gone back and forth between eight and six here in this quarter as the team's trading stops and buckets. Pull-up jumper, back heel, rebound Heaton. Another good look from three. It's good. Jameson Heaton, the last one rattled out. This one goes home. And it's a 28-17 lead for the CSI women with 4.47 to go in the half. Foul on the Eagles there. Coach Rogers unhappy with that effort. CSI up double figures. Midway through quarter number two. And that'll take us to a media timeout. We will take it, and we'll be right back on the Scenic West Athletic Network.
You're smart, creative, and strong. Whether it's family, friends, or business, you give your all to everything you do. At First Federal, we're the same way. We dedicate ourselves to banking so you don't have to. Our wide variety of products are designed to help you achieve your dreams, whether they're big or small. So reach for the stars, play hard, and live without regrets. You do you, and we'll do the banking. Back to live action here at the College of Southern Idaho. 28-17 to 17 CSI with the second quarter lead over North Idaho. They look down low to Morales. Posting up, fading away, and scoring. Diana Morales had a nice game off the bench thus far. Comes in and quickly scores in the post. Six-foot sophomore out of Spain. Harvey. Finds Hedrick. She looks at the three, takes the three, misses the three. Kind of a hesitation there. Didn't really shoot it in rhythm. The five foot four Ryan knives into the paint, kicks it. And a driving layup is good. And that's the first bucket of the night for Kendall Pickford, 5'10 freshman from Coeur d'Alene. Puts it in. Twenty-eight to twenty-one. Eagles up. Heaton in the post, steps through, scores it. Jameson Heaton showing off some nice post moves tonight. She and McNeil both can really score it down low. She gets that one to go, and the Golden Eagles lead by nine. CSI with another stop. They fire it down the floor. Harvey chases it down. Calling back for it. Wide open is Hedrick. Takes the three. No good. And an over-the-back foul on Heaton. That might have been a good one-more type pass. CSI moved it around the horn. Hedrick opened one of the three. Had a teammate open in the corner for another one. Took it. Couldn't get it to go. CSI with Stenquist. Perret. Heaton, Hedrick, and Arvey. And now Heaton takes a seat, and McNeil comes back in. For North Idaho, it's Ryan on the floor with Adams, number 20. Morales wearing number 21. Maddie Williamson is number 15. And the driving way up there for Adams. Also in right now is Callista Troman, number 14, a freshman from Australia. CSI's lead at seven. Stenquist drives, and she is blocked out of bounds by Adams. Nice defensive play by Taylor. 2.26 to go till halftime. Eagles up seven. McNeil open 17-footer, short. Williamson on the drive, gets under the bucket. Drags that pivot foot and a late whistle. Underside official calls it. Stenquist signals the play and walks it up. Here in just a few minutes, we'll have a recap of the first half, first half stats and numbers for you. And give you a chance to hear from Coach Rogers during the break. Jumper, Perret, banks it in. I don't know if she called that one, but Kayla knocks it home. Off the glass and in, and it's back to a 10-point lead. Oh, a beautiful block on the other end by Stenquist, and they're going to give that ball back to CSI. Incredible play. So she hits the, they hit the three by Perret on one end, and Stenquist on the other end. An impressive defensive stop, and the ball goes back off the hands of Ryan and out of bounds. Under two to go. In quarter number two, CSI trying to add to a 10-point lead. Been up as much as 11. Hedrick the handoff. Kayla Perret now to McNeil. She drives down the alley. Blocked. And a foul is called. Looked like a pretty good block there. 
by Adams. But the whistle blows and free throws for Jaden McNeil. And Adams will take a seat with that foul and Kiefer will come back in. While well, CSI's roster is almost exclusively Idaho and Utah players, the only exception being Johnson from Minnesota, the North Idaho roster only has two Idaho players on it, Kiefer from Rathrum and Pickford from Coeur d'Alene. Williamson, good drive, cut off. Kiefer misses, falls off the rim, and another rebound for Hedrick. She's got that Rodman-like approach to rebounding. Stenquist throws it up, can't get it to go. And Ryan, so quick, races the other way and scores. Nice job by Denise Ryan getting it up and down the floor. Goes end to end and scores it with one minute to go. It's an eight-point game. Second quarter action here on the Scenic West Athletic Network. I'm Mike Christensen. I'm joined on the camera by Carson Egbert. Ray looks for help. Harvey. It's been fairly quiet in this first half. She'll drive. Shot clock. Single digits. And Kayla Perret knocks it down. Coach Rogers really circled her as one of the 5'8 freshmen from Spanish Fork as one of the better defensive players on this team. But she can shoot it. She's knocked down multiple threes here in the first half. Nice job off the bench for the Eagles. And it's 36-25. Three ball is up and out for Morales. Single digits on the clock. Shot clock is off and a steal. Golden Eagles turn it over. Hedrick loses it. Ryan races the other way, beats the horn and scores. And that will take us to the half. So big play by Denise Ryan. Eagles had a double digit lead and the ball. And Ryan picks the pocket of Hedrick, races the other way and scores to end the half. So at halftime, the College of Southern Idaho 36, North Idaho College 27. We'll take a break and be back here on the Scenic West Athletic Network. Mendez. A lot of the people that I've gotten the chance to work with come in here for mostly pain. My sister had some uh, troubles with her neck and she wanted to try the CBD pain um, oil drops that we have. My dad also has like some knee problems and he was like, I don't think it's gonna work. And then he tried it and then I don't think he wanted to admit to me that it worked. So he would just tell my mom like secretly, like, hey, like, can you tell like Shelly that you need the CBD? But it's for me. I mean, this stuff works.
halftime here at the College of Southern Idaho. Golden Eagles 36, North Idaho College 27. Some first half numbers for you for North Idaho, the visitors. Denise Ryan with almost half the points for the Cardinals. She scored 13 in half number one, added a rebound, an assist, and a steal. Diana Morales came off the bench to score seven. CSI winning the rebounding battle 25-17, and Kaylee Hedrick in the first half alone, nine rebounds for CSI. Jamison Heaton leading the way offensively with 12. Jaden McNeil scored eight, and off the bench, Kayla Perret, three three three-pointers, three for three from distance, nine points for CSI, and she added three rebounds as well. Heaton had seven rebounds to go with her, 12 points. So the Golden Eagles out in front by nine, shot 43% in the first half, held North Idaho to 31% shooting, including 22% from three-point range, and the Eagles lead. North Idaho never led in this game, and CSI's largest lead was 11. Right now it's at nine as we're at halftime. Quarter number three will be coming up here shortly. We'll take another break and get you set for half number two here on the Scenic West Athletic Network. We would like to thank our sponsors, K&T Steel, Wright Physical Therapy, and S&D Automotive Maintenance and Repair. The questions I had about coming to physical therapy during the pandemic are, should I wait till the pandemic's over? I've gone down that road where I've not gone to PT and things got worse. And so I decided that I wasn't gonna wait. Everybody working here is wearing a mask. All the workout equipment is all spaced appropriately. I see people constantly cleaning it for my safety and I know that they care while I'm here. We're surrounded by viruses, and if you vape, you could be breaking down your body's ability to defend itself. The chemicals in vapor damage your lungs on a cellular level, leaving you at risk. Get the sick truth about vaping at BehindTheHaze.com. Fishers has been the most proactive team that we've worked with in making sure that our technology needs are met. Before Fishers, we had a lot of different vendors for our phones, IT, printers, and now that we've been with Fishers, it's been much easier to deal with issues and, and get us up to speed. They're very, very upfront and honest about what the charges are, what the expectations are. They've done what they've said they would do, and in the time frame and at the cost, they said they would do it. Once we realized how their team works and, and is as proactive as they are, it's been a great process, and I wish we would have done it sooner. My name is Angie, and I smoked for 25 years before I finally quit. Honest attempts, I would have to say at least a dozen. I've smoked all my daughter's life. She even said that she'd give up her birthday presents if I quit, and that broke my heart. I don't feel like I have that ugliness tethered to me anymore, and the only way to get rid of it is to go through some discomfort for a little while, and trust me, the discomfort is completely worth it. Call 1-800-QUIT-NOW or visit projectfilter.org. We are here for the long run. Because we live here. We are based in Idaho, led in Idaho, with the mission of serving the people of Idaho. If every other health insurance company left the state, we would still be here. We're Blue Cross of Idaho. We're always on your side, and that will never change. It's your Idaho Central app here. Any chance you're missing a debit card? Let's get that taken care of for you. With ICCU's card control, you can turn any card off with the tap of your finger. You got it. And back on again. Ow, 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 ow. 
the closest Idaho Central Credit Union branch is in your pocket. Well, as we get ready for the second half here at the College of Southern Idaho, one key point from that first half, CSI's defense against Kendall Pickford. Pickford had a huge game last night, scored more than 20 points in North Idaho's lopsided win over Arizona Western. Tonight, she is one of six. She played 14 minutes, missed all three of her threes, had one steal and just two total points in that first half. So the Eagles doing a nice job defensively there and getting a, some good balance for multiple people on the offensive end. And CSI with a nine-point lead as we get ready for half number two. Teams are back on the floor warming up. Just a couple minutes to go till the next quarter begins. So we'll take one final break and have the third quarter for you here on the Scenic West Athletic Network after this. My name is Lisa, and I smoked for 16 years before I finally quit. When I was a smoker, I didn't want to do things that wouldn't allow me to smoke. I never went on a field trip with either one of my children. All the field trips to the zoo, I missed all of that because that little round stick was controlling so much of my life. Now I can do any of that stuff. It doesn't matter. Call 1-800-QUIT-NOW or visit projectfilter.org. We would like to thank our sponsors, K&T Steel, Wright Physical Therapy, and S&D Automotive Maintenance and Repair. The questions I had about coming to physical therapy during the pandemic are, should I wait till the pandemic's over? I've gone down that road where I've not gone to PT and things got worse. And so I decided that I wasn't gonna wait. Everybody working here is wearing a mask. All the workout equipment is all spaced appropriately. I see people constantly cleaning it for my safety and I know that they care while I'm here. We're surrounded by viruses, and if you vape, you could be breaking down your body's ability to defend itself. The chemicals in vapor damage your lungs on a cellular level, leaving you at risk. Get the sick truth about vaping at BehindTheHaze.com. Yeah, we're ready for half number two here at the College of Southern Idaho. CSI women are ranked number four in the NJCAA preseason poll and uh, off to a 1-0 start after a 49-point win last night over Northwest College. Northwest going down today in a much closer game to Arizona Western, 60-47. And now the... Two teams that won last night, squaring off together, North Idaho and CSI. Golden Eagles, man-to-man -man defense. Three is up and good. And Kendall Pickford held to just two points in the first half, starts half number two with a nice three as the CSI defense inexplicably stepped back and left her open. She makes him pay. And a good start to the half. Heaton throws it up and misses. No foul called, and we go the other way. Quickly down the floor and missing inside. And we've got a likely a jump ball. Here it is, a jump ball called. So Kiefer unable to get the fast break layup to go. Could have cut the lead to four right off the bat. So it's a six-point game, North Idaho, with the three ball to start quarter number three. Ika running the show for CSI. Just one point, one rebound, no assist in that first half. See if she can get going and setting the table for others. There's a chance for an assist. And rims out. So good find by Ika, but heat and shot won't go down. Denise Ryan leading score in the ballgame with 13. Pickford drives. These two teams will play four times this season, twice in the non-conference, two times in conference. Pickford's next three won't go. That one, a long one, comes up short. Oh, 
Golden Eagles scoreless here in the opening minutes of the quarter. She finds Heaton. Nice pass from McNeil. In the high post to the low post. And the two transfers hook up. McNeil to Heaton. CSI up eight. Heaton, beautiful steal from the backside. Davis never saw her coming. She's on the break, one on two, and scores. Out races the defense to the other end, and back-to-back -back buckets for Jamison Heaton. And it's a 10-point lead again for CSI, back to double figures. Just snuck up on the backside of Davis and knocked that ball loose. Pickford calls for the screen. Drives, floats, misses, rebound Heaton. Heaton having an outstanding couple of minutes here. She races down the floor again. Drops it off to McNeil. Bucket goes. And they call an offensive foul against CSI. It goes against Heaton after the pass off. She hit Davis in the head. Davis shaking up a little. We'll take a seat. Taylor Adams will come in for her. 40 to 30, Golden Eagles. Kennedy Gillette is at the scores table. The freshman from Rexburg set to check in at the next dead ball. Pickford uses the screen. Drops it off near Steele and a collision with Hedrick. Adams hits the deck and a foul on the Golden Eagles. Gillette checks in. Heaton will take a seat. Gillette out of Sugar Salem High School. And that ball's going to be a turnover right through the hands of Adams and out of bounds to the NIC bench. 6.59 to go, third quarter. Here on the Scenic West Network, I'm Mike Christensen, joined by my camera operator, Carson Egbert. Harvey. Around the horn, Ika three, good. Michaela Ika knocks down the triple. And the freshman point guard. Now has four points on the night and her first basket of the night. They swing it, wide open shot up top for Kiefer, banks in. Addie Kiefer, 5'10 sophomore from Raftram, Idaho, puts it down off the glass. Gillette baseline. Kicks it. Corner three. No good for Arvey. Rebounded by McNeil. She'll attack the rim and score. Jaden McNeil. Scores the basket for CSI. The Bora High product having another great game for CSI here in the early season. Gillette fakes the three. Drives the alley. Scoops. Misses. Hedrick. Back up and in. The rebound, the putback. And Kaylee Hedrick is already into double figures on rebounds tonight, dominating the glass. And the Eagles are up 14. It's a game-high lead, and it's a timeout on the floor. It's a full one. We'll take it to be back on the Scenic West Athletic Network. Fishers has been the most proactive team that we've worked with in making sure that our technology needs are met. Before Fishers, we had a lot of different vendors for our phones, IT, printers, and now that we've been with Fishers, it's been much easier to deal with issues and, and get us up to speed. They're very, very upfront and honest about what the charges are, what the expectations are. They've done what they've said they would do, and in the time frame and at the cost, they said they would do it. And once we realized how their team works and, and is as proactive as they are, it's been a great process, and I wish we would have done it sooner. My name is Angie, and I smoked for 25 years before I finally quit. Honest attempts, I would have to say at least a dozen. I've smoked all my daughter's life. I even said that she'd give up her birthday presents if I quit, and that broke my heart. I don't feel like I have that ugliness tethered to me anymore, and the only way to get rid of it is to go through some discomfort for a little while, and trust me, the discomfort is completely worth it. Call 1-800-QUIT-NOW or visit projectfilter.org. 
Back to live action, North Idaho inbounds and into the front court. Jumper is up and good for Denise Ryan, who continues to have an outstanding game for the Cardinals. Trims the deficit to a dozen. Beautiful play by the Golden Eagles, but Hedrick can't finish the layup. Nice find by Arvey. As they execute that pretty well, except for the finish, which came up short. Arachi Amarutu drives the lane, misses off the window, chases down her own shot. And another shot up for Pickford won't go. And into the game for the Golden Eagles is Fallon Betke, number 22. Another of the talented post players for the Eagles, and she's bumped and fouled on the other end and earns a trip to the foul line. Bedke from nearby Oakley High School, and last night came off the bench for the Golden Eagles and had three points, three rebounds. And we're back to another quick timeout, so we'll take it, and we'll be back for more third-quarter action on the Scenic West Athletic Network. We would like to thank our sponsors, K&T Steel, Wright Physical Therapy, and S&D Automotive Maintenance and Repair. The questions I had about coming to physical therapy during the pandemic are, should I wait till the pandemic's over? I've gone down that road where I've not gone to PT and things got worse. And so I decided that I wasn't going to wait. Everybody working here is wearing a mask. All the workout equipment is all spaced appropriately. I see people constantly cleaning it for my safety and I know that they care while I'm here. We're surrounded by viruses, and if you vape, you could be breaking down your body's ability to defend itself. The chemicals in vapor damage your lungs on a cellular level, leaving you at risk. Get the sick truth about vaping at BehindTheHaze.com. Bedke at the line as we come back to action here at the College of Southern Idaho. It's the ICCU Invitational. Fourth ranked CSI in North Idaho College. Third quarter action, 4.45 on the clock. And Bedke's free throw rattles home. And one more for the 6'1 freshman from nearby Oakley, Idaho. Coach Rogers has really praised her progress as a Golden Eagle. She goes two for two at the stripe. Ryan nearly loses that inbounds and now gets a little pressure, brings it into the front court. CSI swarming defensively, gets the miss, but an offensive rebound won't go. So a couple good looks from Morales, can't get it to go inside. CSI pushes the other way. Gillette backing it in, hits the cutter. Bedke turns, it's blocked out of bounds. So two players were open on that cut. Harvey had a layup on one end, but they got it in the post and knocked away. Eagles will end down up 14 with 4.12 to go. Davis back in and Kiefer back in. Bedke with the handoff. Gillette looks at a three. Mishandled it or she would have had a good look. Stays with CSI here. Three seconds on the shot clock for CSI, 4.06 on the game clock. Got to get it off quickly. Ika with it. It's Arvey. She takes the three. It's blocked out of bounds. And they call a foul. And that's going to be three free throws, I believe, for Izzy Arvey. Izzy will go to the line with a chance there. With the shot clock expiring, she goes up for the shot. And looked like a good block, but must have got her across the arm and hand. And Free throws coming. First one good. Harvey, one of four players back from the program a year ago. She started one game, played in 33, averaged three points, two rebounds. It's one of the team's better free throw shooters at 73%. And knocks him down there. Eagles by 16. 
Three ball, up and down. Good look for Callista Troman. And it's a 13 point lead for CSI. Kennedy Gillette fouled on the drive B side out for CSI. CSI is five, RV, Gillette, Ika, Bedke, and Hedrick. And for the visitors of North Idaho, Ryan and Troman out there, along with Amarutu and Kiefer. Shot comes off and into the hands of Kiefer. Faye Davis in the post to round out the five for North Idaho. It is number 32. Baseline jumper for Davis, rolls off. Head on a swivel, here comes Ika. Hedrick to the corner. Eagles will set it up with a 13 point lead. Step back triple is good. Kennedy Gillette, we told you she could score it. She shows you there. Between the leg dribble, step back three, knocks it home beautifully. Such a smooth stroke from the outside. And the Eagles get a steal here. Gillette tips it. Eka grabs it. Hedrick with help goes to Gillette. And she missed the layup. Had the chance to score five in a row. Couldn't get it to go. Troman. Eagles up 16. Jumper off the mark. Knocked out of bounds will be CSI ball. Good hustle by Irachi Amarutu, but knocks it out of bounds. Hedrick a little high on that one. Had her teammate wide open under the bucket. But uh, just a little strong and a little high on that pass. Incomplete. Turnover. Step back jumper is off the glass and in for Callista Troman. Kayla Perret back in. Three threes in that first half. Gillette misses in the lane. Perea will back it out. See what she can do for an encore in half number two. She drives the alley, scoops, misses, and it's tipped out of bounds by North Idaho. One forty-three to go here in the third quarter. We remind you that the CSI men will play following this one. You can watch that here on the Scenic Quest Network as well. Golden Eagles trying to rebound from an 0-1 start as they face Northwest College out of Powell, Wyoming. Inbound to McNeil. Shot misses. Looking down low for Davis. That pass is high, and McNeil with the steal. Hedrick to McNeil, 17-footer, rims off. Both teams a little cold right now. And the travel will give it back to the Golden Eagles. Ika, off the mark. McNeil, foul from behind. Can't get that one to go. She'll go to the free throw line. Up 14 with 104 left third quarter. Golden Eagles in control here in the third against the North Idaho Cardinals. And uh, if you missed the comment uh, on the sort of kind of interesting circumstances, CSI scheduled North Idaho to come to both of their tournaments in the first couple weeks of the season the ICCU invite here Coca-Cola Invitational next weekend and then North Idaho came back 
to the Scenic West Athletic Conference. So they kept those games on the schedule. These games do not count as conference games, but ultimately these teams will play four times, two times here in the non-conference and two times as conference members. So tricky game, as Coach Rogers said, we, we don't know if we want to show a whole lot um, of our stuff here as we've got to play them in conference a couple of times down the road, just trying to balance that. Eagles up 15 after the one for two trip at the stripe. Final minute, third quarter. Maddie Williamson, cut off, gives it up, jumper, good. Nice shot there, up and down for Taylor Adams. Ryan Mons fakes the three, drives the alley, scores in traffic over Adams. Nice play there by Mariah Mons. 5'10 freshman from Riverton, Utah. Gets it to go. Blocked by Hedrick. 15 on the shot clock. And a foul called up top. This is split the defenders. Taylor Johnson checks in. Jaden McNeil takes a seat. And the inbound underneath here. Get it into Davis. CSI comes away with it. Johnson to Jinx. Final shot of the quarter. Off the backboard. No good. And that will take us to the end of three. The CSI Golden Eagles. 57, the North Idaho Cardinals. 42, fourth and final quarter coming up right after this on the Scenic West Athletic Network. Mendez. A lot of the people that I've gotten the chance to work with come in here for mostly pain. My sister had some uh, troubles with her neck and she wanted to try the CBD pain um, oil drops that we have. My dad also has like some knee problems and he was like, I don't think it's gonna work. And then he tried it and then I don't think he wanted to admit to me that it worked. So he would just tell my mom like secretly, like, hey, like, can you tell like Shelly that you need the CBD? But it's for me. I mean, this stuff works. We begin quarter number four at the College of Southern Idaho, ICCU Invitational. Final ten minutes of this one. Golden Eagles in control of 15. They get a steal here. Mon tips it away. Jenks, Mons, Pere, Johnson, and Heaton out there for the Eagles. And that shot rolls off. Rebounded by Faye Davis. And Denise Ryan races the other way. Can't finish. Rebound. Taylor Adams back up and in. Just had a nice game off the bench for North Idaho. And scores it here. Bray gets into the lane and scores. She's into double figures. After three triples in the first half. Nine minutes left in this one. CSI went over the century mark last night in the dominating win over Northwest. Not going to reach that tonight. But in front here, that ball knocked away, and then it's going to be a loose ball foul. Looks like they missed a foul against Perret initially, and then they call her for the foul as she tries to get the ball back. She got knocked down. Coach Rogers upset about that one. And he is right. They did knock her down. 
No call there. Sometimes the second person gets stuck. Nice play. Ryan to the rim scores it. Paray. Caleb Paray just kind of lost her lost her player there a little bit and gave up the layup. Oh, and there a turnover looking for Johnson. A little too strong. Nice drop-off pass by Ryan, but blocked away by Heaton. Beautiful play on the defense to come over and swap Morales. She races the other way. Kicks it out front. Jenks wide open three. No. It's a good shooter from there. Can't get it to go. Driving layup is good. And the lead down to 11 for the Eagles. See if North Idaho has a comeback in them here in quarter number four. Trying to battle back. CSI is led by double figures much of the second half. Johnson, six foot three, good shooter from about 15 feet and in. Gives it to Heaton, who bangs away inside. And a timeout, 30-second variety by Coach Rogers. We'll take it and be back on the Scenic West Athletic Network. What's the perfect weekend for Cam? Well, it's duck, duck, cut loose. Bad boy, Mo with an attitude. Seven twenty-seven to go. Here in quarter number four, CSI sixty-one, North Idaho forty-eight. Ryan and the Cardinals into the front court. Ryan out there running the show. He's done a great job tonight. Corner three off the mark, rebounded away by Caleb Perret. McNeil and Heaton, the front court starters, back in along with Hedrick. So it's the starting lineup other than Pore is in there for Harvey right now. And McNeil, another bucket inside. And another double-figure scoring night for her. She had 17 last night in the opener. CSI, six minutes, 30 seconds away from going to 2-0 on the season. Does North Idaho have one final push in to make this a game? They've done a good job limiting Pickford. And there's a steal by Heaton. She's had a number of them tonight. Picks that one up. Gets it to Caleb Perret. Fires it to Ika. Cross court, Heaton. Open three. Rattles off. She's had some good looks tonight. One of them is gone. A couple of them just not quite there. Foul on the Golden Eagles. And nearly thrown away there. And Marutu drops it underneath. And they get an open look for Pickford. No good. 
And Hedrick another rebound. What a night for her. And then a dozen caroms coming her way. Nearing five minutes to go fourth quarter in this one. And running floater won't go for Michaela Ika. Ryan runs the offense, gives it to Pickford. Shot clock into single digits. Five, they spin into the middle. Pickford fades away, one-hander off the back rim. CSI does not react well to the rebound. It's a second chance for North Idaho. And there's going to be, they call a double dribble. Looked more like a travel, but they call double dribble. 63 to 48, 448 to go. And the Eagles in control. And for the first time tonight, we see number 12. Elena Berkland, 5'9", freshman from Morgan, Utah. Had a good game off the bench last night. See you in her first minutes of this one. Heaton, nice step through, fouled. Interesting that the referee under the bucket right in front of that did not call that one. Rake across the arm, but the official on the outside blows the whistle, and Heaton goes to the foul line. And a free throw is good. At the conclusion of this one, stay tuned. We'll have post-game stats for you and a, hopefully a visit with CSI head coach Randy Rogers. And two for two for Heaton. Williamson, nice drive, but leaves the ball in the bottom of the rim. Got a little deep there that time. Adams can't finish underneath. Loose ball. It's going to go to CSI. Coach Coville pretty upset with the officiating and letting the officials hear it right now. Knocked away, we'll stay with CSI. And a turnover for the Eagles. Under four to play in this one. Cardinals work it around the perimeter. Shot clock down to six. Deep three, way off the mark. And rebound Heaton. She is tied up. And that will be CSI ball on the alternating possession. Big sports night here in Twin Falls. The College of Southern Idaho, of course, home for men's and women's games this evening. And you're watching the women's action right now, men to follow. And uh, just a few miles away at Twin Falls High School, the Bruins are in the state playoffs, hosting a playoff game against the defending champions. I believe Skyview in the house tonight against the Bruins as they will uh, battle for a chance to move on in the state tournament. Three twenty-eight to go in this one. We conclude the ICCU Invitational tomorrow as North Idaho will take on Northwest College, and CSI will take on Arizona Western. Arizona Western is 
one and one on the season after picking up a win earlier today. Arizona Western 60, Northwest College 47. Divine Harris had 17 points, and Alliance Ndiba 12 points, 15 rebounds. So it should be fun to watch the rebound battle between her and Hedrick tomorrow. Uh, Arizona Western team with a little more size as CSI is open against Northwest and North Idaho, both pretty guard-oriented in nature. And CSI really used that post size in the first half to open up the lead. Haven't seen quite as much of that in half number two. A little flare screen, open three. Hedrick, good. Kaylee Hedrick with the triple. The All-American knocks it down, extends the lead to 19, and that probably about does this one with 3.05 to go, and the Eagles firmly in control. Knocked away and stolen. Heaton comes up with the loose ball. Kennedy Gillette back in. Drives the alley. Scoops and scores. An and one for Kennedy Gillette. Puts it in. Extends the lead to 21. And the Eagles are running away with this one. Nice job by Gillette. Sugar with the bucket. Coach Rogers likes to joke that all of her teammates call her Sugar, but he can't. <laughs> kind of inappropriate for a coach. Call his player Sugar. She's from Sugar Salem High School. That's the nickname. Psychology major and at the foul line for two here. She's ambidextrous. And that comes in handy on the basketball floor. Knocks that down. 70 to 48 CSI. After the final couple minutes of this one, we'll have the CSI men taking the floor, trying to tip off around 7, probably be a little after that. Maddie Williamson can't get it to go. Tough break, just fell off the rim. And Hedrick, another rebound. She's been a rebounding machine tonight. Kennedy Stenquist back in, wears number 20. Talented freshman for the Eagles. Deep three. Good. Kennedy Gillette. So Kennedy to Kennedy. Stenquist to Gillette. The assist, the triple, and the 25-point lead. Golden Eagles have really blown this one open down the stretch. And foul by Gillette. And with 1.52 to go, North Idaho will inbound with Callista Troman. Johnson back in, and Hedrick will take a seat after an outstanding performance tonight. CSI actually had more turnovers than North Idaho in that first half, 9-6, to six, but that number has really turned in the second half. We'll have final stats here in a moment. It'll be interesting to see where, where numbers land at the conclusion of this game. CSI has had a, a good stretch here in the second half of knocking the ball away and creating some runouts and extending this lead. Shot up and no good. Coach Rogers. Two assistants returning on the bench this year. Reggie Larry, the former CSI men's player, played at Boise State as well, professionally overseas. And Felicity Jones, who was a CSI Golden Eagle herself about uh, 12 years ago. And uh, they're back on the bench helping out Coach Rogers, doing a great job. Stenquist, Johnson. Another drive by Gillette. Does a great job getting it in, but can't finish it. Follow won't go. Loose ball comes to Williamson for North Idaho. And number 15 will lock it up. As we near one minute to play. Oh, 
Deep three. Good. Nice bucket there by Callista Troman, the 5'10". Freshman from Queensland, Australia. She knocks it home from the outside. And greetings to anyone watching from down under. She puts it home. Right to the rim goes Stenquist. Off the backboard, off the rim and in. Eagles by 22. Deep three. Back rim. Rebounded by Fallon Bedke. Number 22 is back in there. Oakley high product. Just down the road. Oakley small town. Just south of Burley, Idaho. Great ranching town here in southern Idaho. Inside, and they're calling a travel on Johnson. Four seconds on the clock. Will they get a final shot off? Williamson will take it, and that'll do it. The final score from the College of Southern Idaho, CSI 75, North Idaho 53. Golden Eagles move to 2-0. North Idaho falls to 1-1. Both teams in action tomorrow to conclude the ICCU Invitational. We'll take a break and be back shortly here with post-game numbers and hopefully a visit with CSI head coach Randy Rogers right after this. it. Dave, it's your Idaho Central app here. Any chance you're missing a debit card? Let's get that taken care of for you. With ICCU's card control, you can turn any card off with the tap of your finger. You've got it. And back on again. Ow, 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 ow. The closest Idaho Central credit union branch is in your pocket. We would like to thank our sponsors, K&T Steel, Wright Physical Therapy, and s and Automotive Maintenance and Repair. The questions I had about coming to physical therapy during the pandemic are, should I wait till the pandemic's over? I've gone down that road where I've not gone to PT and things got worse. And so I decided that I wasn't gonna wait. Everybody working here is wearing a mask. All the workout equipment is all spaced appropriately. I see people constantly cleaning it for my safety and I know that they care while I'm here. We're surrounded by viruses, and if you vape, you could be breaking down your body's ability to defend itself. The chemicals in vapor damage your lungs on a cellular level, leaving you at risk. Get the sick truth about vaping at BehindTheHaze.com. Welcome back to the College of Southern Idaho. We've got a final on the women's side, CSI 75, North Idaho College 53. Jamison Heaton, a game high for the Eagles. 20 points, went 7 of 14 from the field, 5 of 6 at the foul line. 11 rebounds to go with her 20 points to lead the way. Kaylee Hedrick had 16 rebounds, 3 assists tonight, and 6 points for CSI. And uh, Jaden McNeil, another solid game with 13 points for CSI. And coming off the bench, Kayla Pere hit those three threes, ended up with 11 points for the Golden Eagles off the bench. Kennedy Gillette had nine points as well and showed off that three-point stroke, knocking down a couple of triples for the Golden Eagles as they moved to 2-0 and on the season. Shot 42% tonight, so not quite as blistering as the 54% we saw in the opener, but a good game for the Golden Eagles to go to 2-0. and North Idaho College actually uh, officially played a scrimmage yesterday, so this is their first official counting game. So they go to 0-1, not 1-1, and and it's 17 points for Denise Ryan uh, to lead the way. Nobody else in double figures. Callista Troman had eight off the bench. Taylor Adams had eight, and then uh, Diana Morales added seven. But CSI holding Kendall Pickford to five points. She went uh, two of 12 from the field and just one of seven from deep after having a big night last night. So... Golden Eagles get the victory. 
by the score of 75-53. They hold the visitors to 31% shooting. CSI back in action tomorrow night, 5 o'clock against Arizona Western. Keeping an eye out to see if Coach Rogers is going to be able to make his way up here to visit with us in the post game. We'll, uh, we'll take one final break and see if we can catch Coach Rogers. Looks like he is on his way. So after a 30-second break, we'll be back with the coach here on the Scenic West Athletic Network. We're back here, post-game show. Mike Christensen alongside CSI head coach Randy Rogers. Coach Rogers, team goes to 2-0. You saw some good things, hopefully, on both sides of the ball. What are your thoughts on tonight's win over the Cardinals? You know, that was a good game for us because they did some different things than we were, we've were. we talked about a little bit. They set some baseline screens, and we didn't do a very good job. They screened it, they rolled it, and they got the ball in the paint. I thought we did a good job on 33. You know, she had 20-something points last night. I don't know what she ended up with tonight. I know she hit a three. We Held her to three. five. Yeah, so that's... One bucket. Yeah, you got to take away that, but we didn't take away 12, who we didn't think could shoot the ball very well. <laughs> Oops. I can't <laughs> tell our kids, go under that screen, go under it, make her shoot, and she hit back-to-back threes. So, you know, that's just stuff. But fortunately or unfortunately, we got to play that team. That'll be a tough out. They're going to be good. Uh, that just, you know, with only four teams going to the region tournament now, you know... You, it's going to be tough down the road. Uh, there's going to be good teams not It'll be a going. good battle. Uh, your transfers have played well for you here early in the season. Heaton and McNeil, yeah. both in double figures again tonight. And then, of course, Kaylee Hedrick, yeah. 16 rebounds, doing what she does best, impersonating yeah. Dennis Rodman. She does. Uh, just know, talk uh, about and, those three. And, and, you know, it's Kaylee, she felt bad. She was struggling, had a couple turnovers and stuff. But, you know, it'll come. She's just, she'll, she'll be fine. She, she still rebounds, still you get the hustle plays from her and stuff. I thought off the bench, Kayla Parade, especially in the first half, came in again and gave us a couple threes. Uh, I don't know what she ended up, three for three from the three-point line. Yeah. So it was You told nice me to she was her. your defensive ace off the bench, and yeah, she comes and in she and comes hits three threes. Yeah, well, I'm not, <laughs> I guess I don't know. Or maybe she's both sides of the ball. And then, you know, I thought uh, uh, KG looked nervous when she first came in, and then towards the end it's like, ah, forget it. I'm just going to go hard and do the hole. And she can really three. attack, can't she? So she looked good late, and, you know, we just got so many different options. Obviously, we like to get Taylor going a little bit more. But, you know, I look down the bench like I could get you in, I could get you in, you know. So it, it, it's a good problem to have. Hopefully we just continue to get better on the defensive end. A lot of options for you. That's sure nice to have as you figure out that rotation. Tomorrow night, Arizona Western, a little bit different uh, test for you, a little more size than you've seen in these first two teams. I think it's a better matchup for us with our post. we got to figure out how to stop them. They're, they're pretty good. They, they, uh, they have good post moves. They're physical. They're bigger than us. Uh, very, very athletic team. On the guard side, you know, they've got, they've got good guards. One guard's got to play so many minutes, they only got eight, nine kids. So we got to handle the guards out front and hopefully not give them clean looks inside because, you know, we're, we're either going to have to do some things differently on, on, on their posts than we did against these posts. Okay. Well, best of luck tomorrow night as you finish up the ICCU invite. Congrats on the win, and thanks for joining All us. All right. Thank you. That's CSI head coach Randy Rogers. Golden Eagles win it 75-53. to 53. That's your final. They'll be back in action tomorrow night, 5 o'clock, with Arizona Western. I'm Mike Christensen for our camera operator, Carson Egbert. Have a great night.